We are watching when the suspect is smarter than the cop. Ooh. Times in history where suspects managed to beat the cops at their own game. From genius fugitives to civilians who embarrassed cops so bad they had to leave. Here are That's five so embarrassing. times suspects outsmarted cops. I promise you I'm not no damn person escaping. You'd have done run by now. <laughs> Starting with the case of Joshua Lloyd, who in July of 2022 was geocaching Phoenix, Arizona. Geocaching oh. is an activity where people hide physical containers known as caches in different places around the world and others solve puzzles in order to find them. Joshua is currently searching on the side of a public road, but it seems somebody wasn't too happy about this. Oh, hold on. We got the cops. Oh, why is he I'm mad? On my license plate. Morning, can I help you? I don't know, can we help you? Do you live here? No, but this is public, correct? Uh yeah, I'm yeah. not sure on that. Could it is, buddy. Property. Could be, but if there was, I do believe there would be a sign posted somewhere, right? Not necessarily. Is that your car? That is my car. Okay. Well, if it is public... Uh, I mean, I would figure it's public. You have electric access here. Is there anybody in the car? No, just me. But if you want to go check, go ahead, go check. Is that, can I get your permission to do anything else? No. no. Do I need your permission? You would need my permission to go inside the car. No, but you just said he just muff just said, "Do I need your permission? Uh, do you want to violate my rights? Yes, you need my permission to stop my back. I hate cops. Honestly, sometimes cops just do too much, bro. You want to go check if there's someone me else off. in the car? Do I oh yeah, yeah, go check no, and no, you can go look no, no, in no, and see if. Me, go ahead. Do I need you to tell me to go ahead to do it, or can I do it on my own? Looks like this officer isn't having a good day. Oh, he mad. First possible moment, he decides to start an argument out of nothing. He is right that he doesn't need permission to look inside the car, but Joshua is just trying to be polite. There's no need whatsoever for the cop to make this difficult. This little rant of his seems almost born out of insecurity and that becomes a pattern as the footage progresses. Pattern? Do you, do do you mean male pattern baldness like the top of his head? <laughs> He's balding! <laughs> Sorry. On your own, you okay. can do a plain view search. Okay, okay. I thought you were under the I mean, would you guys like my name? I'll give you my name. You don't have to run the plate for it because my name's not on the plate. What's your name? My name is Josh. Josh? Mm-hmm. Josh what? Lloyd. Hey, Phil. Joshua Lloyd. Huh? Joshua Lloyd. You're not towing my car. Well, we may have to tow it. It's not registered to him. It's registered to a female. It's a ban It's left on the roadway running. I'm not going to leave it here. Oh, are you serious? Not even going to question me on who's who it's registered to? Would you like the insurance? And look, look at his partner, bro. His partner's even like, he's befuddled. He's bewildered. Look at him. Left, not even going to question me. On look, he's like, yo, is this guy serious right now? <laughs> On who's who it's registered to? Would you like the insurance and registration? Oh, you're not driving it. Why would I ask for that? It seems as though this cop is trying to make everything into a bigger deal than it needs to be. Sure, it might seem odd that the car is registered to a different name next to a guy that appears to have just been staring at a wall for 30 minutes, but we know that Josh has a reasonable explanation for it, just the same as the cops would if they bothered to ask. But instead, the cop just decides that the best idea is to tow the car and call the owner. What a weirdo. Instead of just talking to the guy that's explicitly saying he can explain everything. I'm going to try and get a hold of the owner, see if they know where the car is. Otherwise, uh, she'll tell the... you that her son-in-law has it. You're going to let him act like that. Just because I'm standing over here next to a wall. And you guys haven't even asked me what I'm doing. I even like turned around. I gave you the thumbs up. He comes out all hard. That must suck being this cop because you're like, damn, you got to double down what your dumb ass is doing bro you know what i mean like your dumbass partners is doing stupid shit and you have to double down with them because if not you're probably gonna get fired terrible sucks why i'm not trying to catch you in anything man asking a simple question the other cop smirk says it all he's well aware that his partner's behavior is unreasonable and frankly just weird but at the same time he can't badmouth him either mm -hmm. you allowed to use the car i live with her yes and i'm allowed to use the car okay. hence the reason why i have it okay all right well we're gonna do some research find out whose property that is, uh -huh. your name, your information, 
if it turns out that it is private property, then I'll author a report for trespassing. I don't think and it would be private no, I, property I don't, because I don't, what I was doing I was a public event. Gosh, so you guys never even gosh, asked me. Mm. I don't think. That's why I'm going to find out for sure whose property. Okay, you go here. go ahead for sure. Again, here's the thing. I don't need your permission to check out whose property it is, but I appreciate you. What a dick, bro. He's just being an asshole. I hate cops like this. Need to go at Can I have your name and badge number? Put your card? 8632. 8632. You're, you're recording it. Okay. Yeah. Can I have your name and badge number, please? Yeah. All right. Thank you. He seems I like really such a nice guy. <laughs> He's just like stuck there. <laughs> it's like when you, if you're like dating a Karen and you just kind of got to be there. You know what I mean? It's like, babe, please, please stop yelling. <laughs> Please, please stop calling the employees slurs. Please, babe. I just want to enjoy my, my muffin. <laughs> and you just got to sit there and take it because you're dating a character. <laughs> I feel bad for the partner, bro. It's terrible. You know what? It's actually worse because you can't pick. You can't pick your partner. He's just there. Appreciate that. The way the second cop acts after his partner leaves is like he's brought his kid along to work and he's telling Josh to just let him have his fun. Regardless, the first officer tells Josh that they're going to head off and do research to make sure this isn't private property. But even if it was, it'd be incredibly hard to convict him of trespassing anyway. As you can tell from the footage, the area of land he was on is directly next to a public sidewalk mm. and there is no signage alluding to the fact that the grass is somehow private pro uh buddy what grass i'm looking at gravel and dirt property however even if it was because be of the lack of signage josh would never be made aware that he shouldn't be there meaning it's impossible to claim he knowingly entered private property the legal definition of trespassing but before he lets the cops go josh has just one more thing to say to them You know, you know, hold on, hold on. Before before you go and give me the lecture, how about this? Before you come up all hard ass on somebody, you ask them what they're doing. You could ask me simply at the very beginning, very nicely, <clears throat> hey, what are you doing? Yeah, what you doing? Research and find out whose property you're on because you may be breaking the law. It's public property, I can tell you that. Stating that as a fact. I am. I'm stating it as a fact because I like fucking with you guys. Well, now you're using more profanity. I can use profanity. No, it's the can't. First Amendment. No, you can't. It's the First Amendment. Not you cannot restrict my I speech. Can't. I can use it to emphasize my sentences. The Call them bald. Call them bald. Another man's lyric. Josh, are yeah, you bald ass bitch? Get your bitch ass back in the car and go get some donuts, ho. Oink, oink, pussy. Oink, oink. He provided everything the cops asked for and more. Remained polite throughout most of the conversation. Sorry. And most importantly, knew the law down to a T. Mm. But with all of that said, he was still treated badly by this cop who frankly had no idea what he was talking about. I'd be like, yo, your earlobes is weird. You're balding. Get that five o'clock shadow on my face, you turkey gizzard neck bitch. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh, this is public property. Don't talk to me. He's completely right to explain his free speech rights too. But to Yeah, the car's not motherfucking in my name. It's in my girlfriend's name. You don't got one of those because you don't get no this bitch. You your last wife, fuck out of here. You be being your kids too. I know how you cops get down. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. Ho. Oh, sorry. Explain this further. Let's take a look at the case of Tom, a teenager who managed to totally school two cops when he was pulled over by cops who Whoa. also had no idea what the law was. <laughs> This man was walking down the side of a road when a police officer passed him. As they drove by, the man flipped him off, breaking no laws oh. in doing so. But the cops still got personally offended and decided to do this. Why are you giving me the face? What? What's your problem? What? Why are you giving me the finger? I'm walking away. Huh? Am I free to go? Why are you giving me the Am finger? Am I free to go? No. Come For here. what reason? The man who we'll call Tom gets pulled over for allegedly flipping off an officer. Immediately after Tom hurt his with feelings. the officer, Tom asks if he's free to go, and if he's not, why he's being detained. Predictably, the officer isn't able to give a great response to either of these completely valid questions. What's your problem? Am I free to go? No. What, do you, you have a problem? No. Do you have a problem? No. You have a problem, then we're... I can leave. Why are you, are you giving me the finger when you're walking? Huh? Come here. I'm free to go. No, you walk. Get over here. Why? Because. Is that a lawful order? Yeah. For what reason? Because you're giving me the finger. That's legal. No, it isn't. Says who? What's the law? What's your What's name? The law? What's your name? How old are you? 
Conveniently, mm. it isn't difficult to find the law in this one. I wish I could do this, but I'm not white. <laughs> If I let me put let me throw the middle finger up at a cop, <laughs> they not even talking. They just get on the ground. Oh, get on the ground. I'm out of me. Ah, they just beat my ass, bro. You know what I mean? It's terrible, dude. Perhaps unsurprisingly, contempt of cop or police disrespect is an incredibly common catalyst for unlawful arrest. However, it's very easy to prove that swearing or gesturing at a cop in a non-threatening way is completely legal across the U.S. Freedom of speech is, of course, protected under the First Amendment right and courts have concluded that giving the finger counts as protected speech. In fact, in 2006, a case was opened against a man in a very similar position, and the court explicitly stated that directing the middle finger at an officer is protected expression under the First Amendment, mm. meaning that Tom is well within his rights to flip the officer off. But unfortunately, the situation begins to escalate, and even more words are exchanged. Have a good one. Okay, Mm. Fuck you. What? what? Come here. I'm afraid of you. Come here. Get away. <laughs> what? <laughs> Walking away and you think I'm afraid of you, huh? I'm not afraid of you. I'm just leaving. Don't worry about me. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> While you speed walk away is crazy. <laughs> Get over here. I'm not doing anything illegal. Yeah, you are. You just cursed me off. That's not Turn a around. crime. Yes, it is. Says who? Says me. Turn around. Come on. Bro, that is not a fucking crime. Yes, it is. Why are you cursing me? It's not a crime. What's your name? It's not a crime. What's your name? Help! Help! No help. Help! At this point, the officer turns off his body camera, oh. which on top of being illegal, definitely isn't the best thing to do as you're handling a... Yo, he's getting sued. Oh my God, he just cost the apartment so much the money. Who's screaming There's no help. way. This time, the cop cites Tom's more recent expletives as the reason for arrest. But once again, Tom is completely allowed to say what he said. The law says the only words not protected by the First Amendment are fighting words intended to incite an immediate breach of peace. Or, in short, words that directly threaten someone or imply that the speaker is going to physically attack someone. Mm. Obviously, what Tom said falls into neither of these categories. And as backup arrives, the cop starts to realize that he might be in the wrong. Uh oh. Because you're acting strange. What? That's not legal. It is legal. He's allowed to How detain you kid? until you do. So what am I doing though? What am I doing that made him detain me? What legal the right? Time I rode by him twice, he shot me the finger. So I turn around and say, well, you're Is right. that a crime? That's a problem. And then he that's not, me to, no, that's not a crime. Fuck off, pig. Yeah, fuck off, pig. That's not mm, a crime. To his face. <laughs> to his face, bitch. Fuck off, pig. To your face, bitch. Oink, 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 oink. He's like, what the fuck do you want me to do? Because it's not a crime. I know my rights. I don't have to say any of that. Uh, you do if you're being detained. For what reason? What, what, what legal mean? reason am I not being detained for? Mm. Where are you coming from? Where are you what from? legal reason am I being detained for? I need to know that. Legally, I need to know that. Now the officers mm. are telling Tom that he's legally required to identify himself now that he's being detained. We just lying out here. Despite not being able to provide a reason for his detention. While this is often correct during an arrest, in New Jersey, a person being detained not suspected of committing a motor vehicle offense can refuse to give ID. But the cops are still way behind on this. Now they can't even figure out why they're detaining him. Why are you shooting me to think? Why are you? Is that illegal? Why are you yeah. fucking bird? Yes, it is. It's causing a public disturbance. In public no, it's not, bro. So a single one. So when you are cursing in public, you are causing a public disturbance. You're being a nuisance to the public. I'd like to see you guys prove it in court. It's what he is doing is he's not saying you're being charged with anything. At that I'm point, he's detaining you, you to make sure that wrong? there is nothing make wrong. Make sure you're what? okay. You have him in handcuffs, bro. What reason does he need to detain? He thought maybe, maybe he thought you were signaling him down. I'm not sure. He knew very well that I wasn't signaling him. Oh, never mind. He's not here. Well, you bring attention to yourself. That's you're not acting, signaling. You're acting strange. I'm making sure you're okay. The officers are desperately wow. trying to make excuses now, and now seem to be claiming that this is a welfare check, and Tom's middle finger was a signal for help. Luckily, a case closed in 2013 explored this very same matter. A cop observed a man giving him the finger and pulled him over, stating he thought he was trying to get his attention and was concerned. Uh -oh. But the court eventually ruled that, quote, 
This ancient gesture of insult is not the basis for a reasonable suspicion of a traffic violation of impending criminal activity. So with this in mind, it's extremely likely that the court would decide that the cop was lying here as well, even without the body cam footage. Mm. But the best part of this entire investigation is watching the officer's face as he tries to escape the hole he's dug for himself. <laughs> Cursing and using vulgar gestures so is causing a public is causing a public public disturbance. What's the First Amendment alarm. for? The First Amendment is for your freedom of speech. Okay. Okay. What is that? Okay, like? hold on one second. Someone wrote in a uh, chat saying, "Law major here." So freedom of speech is not freedom without uh consequences. Meaning, if you yell "fuck you" to someone and get punched, then it's your it's your consequence. However, slurs is hate speech, which is illegal. Threats are considered verbal harassment in some states. Fighting words are only in Texas. Public disturbance disturbance is funny because that means there are people disturbed and the only person disturbed are the cops in the end the cop was wrong but keep these things in mind chat protectors wow thank you for that I have to do with, with was i making a cold action was i making a cold action was i like when you're threatening acting, you in any you, way did i threaten about? you do you understand you know what a call to action is do you understand that you're person? acting is that a call to action am you, i calling for an action to be done against you no mm. you're paying attention to listen, yourself listen, and listen, 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 listen. That's it's 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 behavior that's out of the order. Well, must it, so what were you doing? Well, I want to know from your perspective. I, I, I talked about the scene, so you tell me what you were doing. Bring you I think the fifth. Oop. Got him. <laughs> you fucking idiot. What has now turned into an He's argument so happy, lasts bro. for a few more minutes before Tom finally gives in and hands his ID over and is told he's free to leave. Remember, he was not legally required to identify himself, but that was the only thing that got the officers to let him go. Tom also informed the officers that he intended to pursue legal action, but very little information about this is publicly available, uh -oh. or the fates of these horrifyingly corrupt officers. Both of these cases have featured people who knew the law perfectly and managed to defend their own rights from corrupt officers. But let's flip the perspective quickly and look at criminals who were so smart, they managed to escape escape the cops with crafty techniques and street smarts. No What's way, a... bro, this is kinda cool. of Quantrell Schwarzlow, who managed to outsmart cops by escaping custody in just seconds. Go, go ahead, Quantrell. Just three minutes, is that window open? Quantrell was brought in for strangling a girl and assaulting her. Okay. He clearly didn't want to be convicted of. Um, <laughs> balls, wait a minute. Uh, let's not go, Quantrell, you sit your ass down, okay? Yeah, that's Monkey. that's bad, illegal, Quantrell. You don't do that. You okay. don't do that. And the window's open. <laughs> oh my God, he's out. <laughs> he's out, bro. <laughs> he's going, <laughs> ah! <laughs> Please tell me that was like the third story, bro. <laughs> that motherfucker swan dived out that bitch. He's out. He's out. The detective. Uh. Oh, no. <laughs> Unfortunately for Quantrell, his handcuffs were a dead giveaway, and he was captured four hours later. Of course, this isn't the only example of suspects escaping police custody. In fact, Richard McNair's escape plan was so smart, he managed to stay out of jail for 18 months but not without an extremely close call. No way. Richard was originally arrested for the shooting of two men after he was caught robbing a house in North Dakota. Damn. One was badly injured, and the other died at the scene. Oh, shit. Richard was given three R. life R. sentences for this, but he had absolutely no intention of sticking around for any of this. In 2006, he managed to- Oh, one second, bro. Oh, I got a hangnail, and I'm ripping it, and it's just going, it keeps going up. Oh. Oh my God, it just doesn't stop going up. I'm bleeding. There's so much blood and it's still hanging. Ugh. Oh my God, this is terrible. I'm leaking. Holy shit. One second, bro. All right, let me get this. I got a piece of napkin. Okay, I got some napkin. Put it here. Oh my God, it's so much. Okay, I'll play the video. I'm sorry. To escape from the prison by burying himself in a pile of mail and being carried straight out the door. But just hours later, he was stopped by police while jogging away from the prison. You live around here, buddy? No. Where do you live at? Down the road by uh, Pineville. Pineville? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have any form of identification on you? No, man. What's your no. name? Robert Jones. 
Richard appears calm, cool, and collected while talking to the cop and gives the innocent alias of Robert Jones. Robert Jones. Saying that he's just out jogging around where he's stationed for work. That's not the problem right now. Where you, what's your address? I don't have an address. I'm at the hotel. We're working on uh, houses and stuff like that. Roofing. What is? We got an escapee. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> where from? Uh, prison. There's a prison here? Richard must think that the jig is up, but he manages to stay calm and play. He's finessing this fat guy. Oh, there's a prison here? Motherfucker is smooth. Cool. He gives a simple, neutral response and keeps his stance on the loose to avoid looking uneasy. I'd be so fucked. He'd be like, where are you from? I'd be like, uh, Dunzeldorf? I'm from Dunzeldorf. I'd be like, oh, really? You from Dunzeldorf? Mmm, mmm. What you doing over here then? Oh, shit. I was just running. I mean, uh, escaping. I mean, um, jogging. I was jogging. Like, bro. Oh, I, I'm fucked. It's over, dude. The cop then radios in for a detailed description of the fugitive and attempts to match it up to Richard. How old is your guy? You're how old? 50. I was born in 56. You said he was born in 56. 58. What color you got? Green. Well, uh, kind of a turquoise blue. Turquoise blue. Most people in this situation would be getting restless and giving short, closed off responses because of nerves. But Richard somehow manages to give full answers to everything and even jokes with the officer. I think it helps because he was running. So like if you're jogging and get stopped, you're going to be tired, right? Like he's already like out of breath a little bit. So it kind of helps. He's just regaining his shit. Oh, he's so lucky. He's slowly trying to convince him that he's just a normal guy and that he's absolutely not hiding anything. You know the bad thing about it? What's that? You'll match it up to him. <laughs> well, that sucks. Doesn't it? Arrest yeah. him. I don't even know the address. We just got into town about a week ago, and he dropped me off to jog. I always jog about 12 miles a day. Where'd he drop you off at? Up there on that road by, uh, there's some construction going on up there. And out. Uh -huh. And he dropped me off. He'll be back to the hotel in about probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Where are you from? Huh? We're originally Dallas, Texas. And what's your name again? Jimmy Jones. This should have been it for Rich. Oh, he changed his name. What happened to Robert Jones? What, what happened to Robert Jones? Oh, this is where our tax dollars are going. Oh my God. Arrest this thug. Lock him up. a completely up. different name to his original alias, but the cop somehow completely missed it and carries on regardless. Put yourself in my position. Where's y'all's motel at? Okay, Walmart's right there. Go right at Walmart and there's a road 165 that goes south. Little old tiny hotel. I mean, it's clean, but it, and the, it's family owned. Little old tiny hotel. Yeah, you know, like a motel deal. You park up there. Um, I promise you, I'm not no damn serious in this case. You'd have done run by now. <laughs> <laughs> you know that yourself. <laughs> Did you see anybody or anything? There's some. Kids oh up. my god, he is getting finessed. This cop is stupid. He said you would have. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. I'm sorry to have to hold you up, but. Hey, right. no, I'm just doing my job, man. I know you are. You can know? you write down your uh, phone number, your cell phone number, so I can have whoever calls you? Just call 911. That's all you got to do, and they'll get a hold of us. He tried to take his number down. Down. This motherfucker is so ballsy. That's hey, our quick line there. Have a good day now. Be careful, buddy. Thank you. All right. This was the last time Richard McNair was seen for 18 months. During his time on the run, he traveled using stolen cars and supplies from Louisiana all the way up to Canada, where apparently he almost bought a property and attempted to settle down. In October of 2007, Richard was finally caught and apprehended in New Brunswick after he was identified driving a stolen vehicle miles from where it was last reported. Ooh. Despite quite literally being a murderer, Richard did play this incredibly well and simply outsmarted the cop. I don't even think he, like, he outsmarted him, but I don't think the cop is that smart. He literally said, wow, you matched the description. Uh, motherfucker, put that thug in handcuffs. And all the others on his tail for a year and a half. This cop must have been humiliated, but not as much as the unfortunate officer who had a run-in with Joel Delgado, who had his escape planned for days before it actually took place. No way. Oh. Joel had been arrested on a myriad of charges. In oh, I know he didn't peek back with a neck brace. Look at him. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm about to run on you. I'm going to get loose. Joel Delgado, oh. who had his escape planned for days before it actually took place. 
No Joel way. Joel has been arrested on a myriad of charges, including drug trafficking and shooting Ooh. his girlfriend, and was looking to go away for a long time. Ooh. But after his most recent arrest, he told police that he'd been badly injured, so was taken to court in a wheelchair. This is why police were extremely shocked when this happened. He's out! He's out! You better radio it. Why is he? Ch he is so. Oh my god! The cop is so slow. If I was a, if I'm the cop, I'm radioing instantly, bro. I'm so. I'm not running with my badge, gun, vest, all that. Shit. Fuck, fuck that. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm gonna catch you, man. I'm gonna shoot your. <laughs> <laughs> For someone confined to a wheelchair, Joel sure can <laughs> run. As just seconds after escaping, he completely disappeared. Now, nah, which way you go? We went straight through the alley and cut that way. What's your phone? My damn radio came out. Hold on. Thank you, Dad. I tried to come behind you and get him. I don't know where you went. He probably chilling under hey, a car look. right now. The wheelchair dude got up and ran. Yeah, I couldn't catch his ass. And my radio was in the I had my camera on. That <laughs> Didn't he say he's gonna catch him? Oh, I'm gonna catch you, baby. <laughs> he indeed did not catch him. <laughs> Motherfucker run slow as shit. <laughs> I don't know where he went. Hey, huh? Now why are you making fun of him? The because he's slow, dude, bro. Yeah, I couldn't catch his ass. And my radio was in well, I had my camera on. Oh God, I'm not getting caught. I'm too fast, bro. I'm too quick. I jump over fences fast as fuck, too. Ah, ah, whoop. I got them calves on me. Ah, them motherfucking bunny hops, bitch. Fuck you talking about. Ah, chat on oh God. I'm running Olympic, Olympic times on these motherfucking cops. They are not touching me. I'm, has, 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 I'm out, bro. Has, 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 I'm gone. You see me in that one scary game. Stop playing with me. You're not touching me. Teams have pulled off. Yeah, I, I can't even remember his name. He on the run. All right. You better get, get up. Off, man. The wheelchair do ran. <laughs> he had a neck brace on and all this. Did he really? Yeah. Uh, he didn't need that wheelchair very much, did he? <laughs> Hell no. Unfortunately for Joel, his freedom was short-lived. Oh. As just a few hours later, he was caught and arrested once more, gaining nothing other than a count of felony escape to add to the list. Damn. It could be argued these last few cops had a simple lapse in judgment or simply got beaten in the moment. But Mac Proctor proves that this cop had no idea what he was doing in the first- I've seen this whole video on TikTok, bro. I'm gonna let it play, but this cop, oh my goodness. Place, all by knowing the law and standing his ground. Mac was parked in a private parking lot waiting for a takeout order while on his shift as a delivery driver. While his vehicle wasn't in a designated parking spot, it wasn't blocking the flow of traffic, and he'd only left it there unattended while picking up his food. Upon returning to his mm. vehicle, Mac was approached by a police officer stating he was violating parking rules. All right, Mr. Proctor. Well, that is another thing. Everything okay? Do I need to answer any of your questions? You don't have to answer anything. Dude. Okay. You don't um, have to. I'll let me stand here all day. I oh. get paid either way. Okay. Can you go ahead and finish your job Sand. so I can carry on? What's up with the anger, dude? I'm not angry. Not angry? You always talk to everybody like that? I, bro, motherfucking cops power trip so bad. And I'm gonna be honest, it's hard to demand respect when you look like this motherfucking, this schmuck behind me. I'm gonna be honest. Look at that asshole. Just the whole fit, like just everything about him, how he holds himself pisses me off, dude. I don't even, like, I'm a very respectful young man, but if I pass this cop, I'll be like, ugh, mad loud and just walk off. Fuck out of here. And what's up with the, what's up with the, shut up, you schmuck. Ah, oh, your wife f other dudes. F you, she fucked the whole police force. I'm, I'm not angry. And then I walk away. I just want you to go ahead and wrap things up, please. Oh, okay. 
Of course, Mac has every right to stay silent in the face of the officer's questions, especially ones that don't at all pertain to criminal proceedings. At no point did he raise his tone or say anything out of line. Yet the officer asks why he's being so angry. Many people think that some police officers are used to consistently being in command and control on these interactions, mm -hmm. and it's possible the same is true with this officer. When Mac exercised his rights and just asked for things to be moved along, this cop was surprised and took it as a combative statement all right well you know we'll give you a, a break on it but you know what i'm saying this isn't a parking spot okay dude you're not giving me a break you're harassing me at I'm this point I, mm. i'd like to here? leave may i leave now please uh, well do you understand am no, i being stopped? detained yes you are okay all right so do you understand why i stopped you do i need to answer any no, more you of your questions I'm, you don't have to okay the officer informs Mac that he is being detained for parking here. To issue a citation for parking violation, you must be breaking either local, state, or federal law. Something like parking in a handicapped spot without proper documentation. Hey, Mr. Proctor, can I just give you your stuff so you can leave? Motherfucker, uh, yeah, give me my sh Buddy, you're the one not giving it to me. Like, what? He wants a please, thank you, have a nice day. Motherfucker. I don't know you. I don't like you. Give me my paperwork so I can leave. You're pretty much holding this man hostage right now, bro. People are weird. Can you? I can, but you're the one. I would have let you go a long time ago. I what do I need to do for you to hand me my documents so I'll I can leave? I'll get you right now. I just want to know that, you know, that you're okay because usually I don't get people all... Just what like, do I need to do for you to hand me my documents so I can be on my way? You're okay. I don't need to answer any of your questions. Okay, there we go again. Trying to say that uh, you're trying to display your power to me no, right now. I'm hmm. about it. Is it a problem to be concerned about another human being? Let me hit that. I need that. You okay. have no reason to be concerned about me. So it's okay then. You're okay then. You can hand me my documents and I can be on my way, or we can. Okay. You're not gonna. Okay, here. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna take a chance on you right here. Take, take a there. chance? What the f are you talking about, buddy? I know. I'm, you're looking directly at me. I'm sorry. One second, buddy. Give him his. I'll take care of you. Don't worry. Give him his paperwork. What do you mean you giving him a chance? You ain't doing shit. You get no attention at home. Your wife cheating on you. Your kids don't love you. You your job suck. Your drip suck. Your hairline trash. So I got that fucked up hat on. Your fucking fingers are like little sausages. Get the fuck out of my face and give him the paperwork. Damn, Mr. Proctor. Fuck out of here. Piss me off. Um, you're probably, everything's cool, all right? We're blocking traffic, here's your stuff. Mac was allowed to leave without further incident, but this interaction raises questions about why he was met with further difficulties after doing nothing other than exercising his Fifth Amendment right. Someone said, damn, Kenji, calm down. He might be right, dude. I got spit all over my top monitor, not even my bottom one. Bitch, I have a monitor above my monitor, spit everywhere. Holy shit. Dude. In fact, it's strange that the entire interaction even happened in the first place. If the officer had observed Mac's vehicle obstructing traffic, the incident could have been avoided by simply asking him to move his vehicle vehicle out of the way and let him go about his day from there. Instead, the officer detained Mac, preventing him from moving his vehicle and keeping it in the very place that's allegedly impeding traffic flow. The cop later found out that Mac wasn't even a federal agent or officer himself and simply managed to prove just how valuable it is to know the law. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. I know my rights, but uh, I try not to be competitive with a uh, cop, to be honest with you. They're scary. I'm not scared of them, but they're scary when they, um, when they, uh, you know, flex their authority.